this is Pylos Peak. Not much to show for itself now, eh? Looks like someone beat us here. Is this like a popular tourist spot or... Ah, uh, it's you! <sighs> You again. Look at the state he's in. Was he in that dream just now? He managed to extricate himself from the dream on his own strength? How is that possible? <laughs> just because you are powerless to do something does not mean that I am. You're too late anyway. I finished my research. We knew it! This was all a dirty trick by the Fatui! Save it! No more fun and games for me today. I'll come for you when I'm good and ready. You entered the dream they've all been having, didn't you? How much do you know about Leonard? Leonard? Who's Leonard? Ah, uh, whatever. I have bigger fish to fry. I've discovered something far more important. And far more terrifying. What? The stars. The sky. It's all a gigantic hoax. The stars are a lie. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this some kind of astrological debate between you and Mona? Because if so, surely you can come up with a better argument than the stars are a lie. Seriously, who's gonna fall for that one when you can just lift your head up at night and see them up there twinkling away? <laughs> oh, you are so naive, it kills me. Still... I can't really blame you. After all, I used to believe the same thing myself. Up until a few moments ago, that is. A few moments ago? You mean... Look, I really don't have the time to do this right now. What was the Jester thinking? He must have had some inkling of what we might discover on this mission. Would it really have been so difficult to give me a little forewarning? Hmm. <sighs> Or maybe he just wanted to give me a fright. Time for me to go out and find the truth. So long, suckers. Oh, can you believe that guy? He calls us suckers and then he just trots off. No one disrespects me. No one. Oh, time to show them what you get when you cross world-class genius with pure, unadulterated rage. Wow, you fought so fiercely. Told you. That's what happens when you disrespect me. You bet I am. Paimon, you agree too, right? Did I show those Fatui who's boss or what? Sure did. Without you here, those guys would have caused us a- See? How do you like that, Harbinger? Scumbag. He seemed genuinely shaken, though. I don't think he was lying. I was always taught to talk about the false sky during astrological readings. Could there be more to such phrases than I have been led to believe? I digress. Come on, let's finish the job we came to do. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. Whoa, this must be the core. It looks totally different from all the other meteorites. It's way more shiny this stone harbors an unbelievable amount of elemental energy and human desire it's the core all right yes otherwise the victims will never wake up this core is the root cause of everything that has happened <sighs> do it With ropes, we can scale mountains. 
With boats, we can sail the seas. By age 40, I had conquered every last domain. Pylos Peak alone defeated me. As an adventurer, and well, maybe in other ways too. Now I am approaching the end of my life. Many times I have sat and stared up at that peak as the boundless snow slowly engulfed me. It is a beast without weakness. The merciless face of the world, it fills me with fear. And when an adventurer loses courage, they can no longer climb mountains. My mountaineering days may be over, but I have a greater ambition now. Humans create tools to conquer nature, and when nature conquers them in return, they create better tools. Where our legs cannot take us, maybe our tools can. And when tools fail us, perhaps wings can carry us instead. My dear friend, I leave you my designs for the wings of incompletion. Against the unknown, humanity stands as one. To be alive is to seek, to set foot in every place that the eye can see. I have little time remaining, though the wind has not yet come for my soul. But between us and your children, students, and friends, I believe that someone will reach that place at last. Unexpected? Who would have thought that human will can survive in the skies for millennia on end? Astrology really is an incredible thing. Uh, what makes you... The ability to communicate with the stars can give you access to all the secrets from throughout human history. Though, of course, very few astrologists ever reach that level. What's with the formal tone all of a sudden? And speaking of formal tone, what is the deal with that girl, Fischl? She's a curious one. Paimon thinks so, too. She's so... How to put this? Yeah. Although, if you think about it, is she one of these people who uses the wrong method, but still gets the right answer? You may well be right. Even so, Paimon thinks that the most surprising thing of all was how Pylos Peak turned into a teeny tiny little... A mountain of yesteryear now sits as an island in the sea. Almost anyone from Mondstadt could reach it now, just by jumping in a boat. In other words, everyone can climb Pylos Peak now. Do you think Leonard would be happy about it? The situation with Pylos Peak might be a bit of a shock. But now, with the help of the Animal Archon, with wings, people can travel further and higher than ever before and explore new and unknown... The victims should finally start waking up now that we've dealt with the core. And we have finally finished our commission from the Adventurer's Guild. Don't blink! 